Donna with the North Greenbush Public Library and I am back again for more crafting around the house. Today we are going to be making bird feeders out of an old milk jug. Um, you'll just need a couple of items for this craft, some type of a plastic bottle. I am using a milk jug but you could use an orange juice container or an old detergent bottle. Just make sure whatever you're using you want to clean it out really well before you start crafting. You'll also need a string or twine, even an old shoelace, something that you can use to make the hanger for your bird feeder. I'm using a set of chopsticks uh, from Chinese Delivery to make the perch for my bird feeder, but you can use an old pencil or a popsicle stick, even an actual stick that you find outside would work. I'm using a hole puncher to cut the holes for my twine and an X-Acto knife, a little bit of hot glue, and I'm gonna decorate mine with Sharpies. Now, you can decorate yours with paint or you can decorate it with items that you find outside. However you wanna decorate them, I'm using Sharpies because it's quick and easy. Okay, so the first step to making our bird feeder, we're gonna take the lid off of our milk jug and then we're just going to take a hole puncher, put it right down the lid as far as you can and punch a hole right through. Now you'll want to do that on the other side also because you're going to run your twine through here to hang up your bird feeder. Okay, next we're going to take our twine or your string or your shoelace, whatever you're using for your hanger. We're going to cut a piece of it off to make uh, this hanging spot for our bird feeder. Now you don't want it too long so that it's swinging in the wind, but you also want it to be long enough that you'll be able to get it over a branch. Um, then you're just going to take it right through the holes that you just punched on both sides. Like this, and then just come up and tie a knot. So now that you have your hanger tied, your next step is going to be just to take a little bit of hot glue right around the edge, all the way around, and then put your lid back on. This will help to keep it on so that rainwater doesn't get inside your bird feeder. Okay, so the next step, we're going to cut our milk jug. Now you're going to cut the two big sides of your milk jug, not the sides with the handle. And all you're going to do is just cut roughly a circle in the middle that the birds will be able to get in and get their food. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm using an X-Acto knife, but if you have sharp scissors, you could use scissors also. And I'm just going to eyeball it and cut right around. sides of our bird feeder cut out. The next step is going to be to make a perch for our birds. Again, I'm using a chopstick, but you can use a pencil or a popsicle stick or an actual branch from outside would be fine too. The way I do this is I just cut a little tiny slit right here and then the same over here. And then I'm just going to take my chopstick and I'm going to push it through the hole. And back out the other one. Now I do like to put a little bit of hot glue around where my stick has gone in and out just to help hold it in place a little bit. Now that's your basic bird feeder. The next step is to decorate it however you want. I'm gonna use Sharpies to decorate mine. 
If you do use Sharpies, just know that the sun will fade them over time. So you'll want to hang it in a shady spot or be prepared to redo your decorations. Okay, now that our bird feeders are decorated, all that's left to do is fill them with a little bit of feed. Now, if you don't have bird seed at your house, there are other things that you can feed birds that is safe for them. You can give them bits of corn or sunflower seeds or dried berries like raisins or craisins would be fine. Now all that's left to do is hang your feeder on a good sturdy branch and then just wait for the birds to come. Now if you do make our craft, remember to let us know how it turns out.